Welcome to our lecture online. You will find that when you take higher order derivatives, second derivative and third derivative and so forth, you might end up with a pretty big mess even though you start with something that looks pretty small. So let's try that. Let's find the second derivative of this seemingly very simple equation. So we want to find y double prime. So we begin by finding y prime. And here we have a quotient, so we'll use the quotient rule. So that will be the denominator x squared plus 2 times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all divided by the denominator squared. So when we simplify this we get the following. We have y prime is equal to x squared plus 2 minus 2x squared divided by x squared plus 2 quantity squared which is equal to x squared minus 2x squared, which gives us minus x squared plus 2 divided by the quantity x squared plus 2 quantity squared. And unfortunately, we cannot simplify that. So next, we find the second derivative. Again, we have a quotient. We use a quotient rule. So y double prime is equal to the denominator, x squared plus 2 quantity squared, times the derivative of the numerator, which is minus 2x, minus the numerator, which is a minus x squared plus 2, times the derivative of the denominator. So if we use 2 times, we'll put that in parentheses, the quantity x squared plus 2 times the derivative of what's inside, which is 2x. And the whole thing divided by the denominator squared, which is x squared plus 2 to the fourth power. So you can see that it gets messy very quickly when you use the quotient rule twice in a row for the first and second derivative you get kind of a big mess. To simplify this let's recognize things that are similar. So we have an x squared plus 2 quantity squared and we have an x squared plus 2 over here. So we can factor that out. So that means we end up with y double prime is equal to. So we can factor out an x squared plus 2 because we have an x squared plus 2 squared here so we have an x squared plus 2 we can factor out the minus 2x, this minus that 2x, and this minus 2x, so we have a minus 2x. And notice when we factor this out, we factor out the one with the smallest exponent, x squared plus 1 to the first power, because it's positive exponents. With negative exponents, we factor out the biggest exponent. So then we have left one of these, which is x squared plus 2. And that negative is gone, so now we have plus the quantity x squared plus 2 or well, that would be a minus x squared plus 2, n times 2. And the denominator of x squared plus 2 to the fourth power. And then we realize that we have an x squared plus 2 to the first power, x squared plus 2 to the fourth power, so that cancels out. So this becomes 1, this becomes 3. And now when we continue over here, we end up with y double prime is equal to negative 2x times the quantity x squared plus 2 minus 2x squared plus 4 all divided by the denominator which is now x squared plus 2 to the third power. And then simplifying what's in there we get y double prime is equal to minus 2x times x squared minus 2x squared is a minus x squared. 2 plus 4 is plus 6, divided by the quantity x squared plus 2 to the third power. And that should be the second derivative of our original function. So you can see it gets uh, messy very quickly, and you have to be very careful with making mistakes algebraically, because that's easy to do when you have a big mess like this. And that is how it's done. So let's see if I did it right.